We are on. Well, by the way, we have a fan here. Tony, come on over here. Uh, check check out. We're at Legends of the Ring. Check out the shirt. Hey, how we doing? Did you watch the pay per view? Oh yeah, it was great. So give us, you know, this gentleman referee the Cody Dustin. Legend in the business. Look out there and tell us what, what you thought of the whole show. I thought Double or Nothing was amazing. I think that every other corporation in the business has something to worry about. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Unsolicited. Tony. You have, I love your shirt. You, you, have, you, got, you have five bucks to give him for now? Come back later. I'll Come back. We'll, we'll take care of you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Bill After here at Legends of the Ring. My my old friend from back in the Jim Crockett days. Be, be easy. Yeah, be yeah, easy, yeah, Bill. Yeah, be yeah. easy. No, no, but he's a young guy. One of the great referees of all time. Of all time. Mr. Earl Hebner. Welcome back to the After Chat. Hey, thank you, sir. So, AEW. You were the referee of the very emotional uh, Cody Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes match. Tell everybody out there watching now what it was, what that experience was like for you. It was a great, it, well, it, it was a great experience and a lot of thoughts and a lot of pressure because I knew those two boys when they were kids. Matter of fact, the dad's the one that gave me this job. Is and that right? Yes, he did. I didn't know that Dusty's oh, yeah. the first person that... Dusty's the one that gave me a job at the NWA in Charlotte with your Crockett Promotions. And those and seeing those kids grow up and being with them uh, in, in all, in, in Double or nothing. It, it was uh, it was really it was a great match, but I was in there with two great kids, two great friends, and honestly, it was like family. But we got it. It was done, and it was good. And uh, were, I was, you, were you were you uh, nervous? Were you nervous when you got into the ring and you realized, you know, that you were in uh, a new company, uh, the fans there knew who you were, and you were with two people that you admired? I was more nervous about those two guys hurting each other than I was uh, in the ring. But, um, you know, the ring is great. I'm, the, the ring doesn't bother me. It's when I got two great kids, well, men now. Yeah. And in the ring that I've loved all my life, and seen them grow up from from babies, it was uh, it was a lot of stress on me. It's like I was the dad. I'm the dad there. Yeah, yeah. Se separating the boys. And the, the emotions at the end of that match oh, yeah. were it was, incredible. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad I got to raise Cody's hand and leave because I'd have probably been in tears at the ringside. Yeah, we all were. We all were. Uh, tell us about uh, uh, AEW. Your thoughts generally on this company that seems to have a world. Not seems to. But they have a worldwide buzz. Well, going on. Uh, they're, they're a great company. Uh, I'm, I feel privileged and honored to be with them. And uh, this company is going to wake up a lot of people around the world in the wrestling business, especially the WWE. And uh, it's going to be great. They now they have some competition. It's not just they're running away with the world, which they aren't anyway. Yeah, well, competition is great because it makes everybody better. I know it's a cliche, but it's true. Right, exactly. As long as the competition, somebody's got to hustle to keep going and be on top. Yeah, I remember the days in WCW and WWE when they were competing, and how how my hands hurt from the remote Nitro Raw, Nitro Raw. We're going to see that again. You think? Probably. It's a. Uh, it's, a, it's going to be a world war, believe me. And this company, uh, it, I, it's just so many good things for me to say about it. AEW that it, it's hard to get it all on. What was it like in the dressing rooms before the great. matches? What okay. was it feeling? There's uh, happiness, joking, laughing. Uh, uh, it's not like you're in prison anymore. It's like you, you're enjoying what you do, and you do it the best that you can do when you're not under pressure. And they give you the lead way. They give you the keys, and you go with it. So do you, uh, do you want the job uh, to determine the world champion as the referee uh, at All Out in Chicago, which will be Hangman Page against Chris Jericho? I'm going to leave that up to AEW. They can choose whoever they want. Uh, You've refereed so many. So many, many right, right. I like, to, in all honesty, I like to see one of the other refs get an opportunity to do that. Okay. Because I've been there and, and I, and, and, uh, I, it would give them a great honor, and myself too, but I would rather see a new, somebody else besides Earl Hebner. Right, that's great, that's great. Bill afterwards, Earl Hebner, and if you wouldn't mind pointing out to the camera, we'll see you at the matches.